The baby crabs will stay with the mother up to about a month before they become free roaming. I think at about 150 uh, underneath her flat. So the purpose of this lab is to conserve the three endemic freshwater crabs only found in Singapore. We have a sense of obligation to protect them because there are only a few hundred individuals of most of these species found in the wild. If anything were to happen to the crabs, there would be a population here so that they will not disappear completely from the world. We do release some of these crabs back into suitable habitats is to try to increase their population size. So there is another species on the species recovery program where we have found habitats for them to dwell in outside of their original range. That species is the cinnamon bush frog. We're just checking the phytotelms for any signs of adult frogs. Have you seen any yet? There are staples here, but I don't know whether you can see it. The tree cavities naturally accumulate leaf litter, and what Daniel is doing is he's just stirring up the detritus to see if the tepals appear. So for this frog, the frog call is a series of peeps. So it's something like peep, 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 peep. My frog mimicking skills are not there yet. <laughs> oh, so there's a frog here. So here we have an adult frog. So for the frogs, because they breathe through the skin, so we want to avoid handling them as much as possible in order to not transfer like any oils or contaminants onto their skin. The frogs were originally found in our nature reserve, specifically Bukit Timah Nature Reserve and the Central Catchment Nature Reserve. Their current range is very limited and therefore that makes them a nationally threatened species. And what we did was we translocated a couple of adult frogs over to the rainforest in the Singapore Botanic Gardens. So within six months, what we observed was new tepals in the containers that were provided. So this was a very encouraging sign that the adult frogs were happy with the habitat and produced a new generation of tepals there. A lot of people tend to wonder what is the importance of conserving these creatures. My favourite response to that is an analogy that I learned from my university professor where ecosystems are described like the rivets on an aeroplane. So when one or two rivets fall off an aeroplane, the plane can still fly, but eventually when many rivets fall off the aeroplane, the plane can't fly at all. So frogs are known in the scientific community as canaries in a mine because if there are any changes that affect them negatively, that suggests that these changes are in the climate such as global warming or climate change that would invariably affect humans as well. We live in a city in nature where we are in very close proximity to the ecosystems that these threatened flora and fauna live in. So I think the crabs and the frogs, no matter how small they are, they all play important roles in our urban ecosystem. And therefore, it is as important to conserve them compared to even the more charismatic animals that are on the species recovery program.